Welcome back. So over the weekend I was working on getting these other uh, interior trim panels sorted out. So this is the right hand side um, kick panel which is the panel forward of the door. And uh, this is the rear one. So this is the one aft of the door, sort of for the back seat area. So I've just got those um, sort of separated out and that's there where I just highlighted that that's where it sort of mates up to the door. And then uh, on the front one that panel there that's kind of where it meets up to the door so going to do the same thing with these two I believe is um, you know just mill them out of foam and then uh, put a vacuum bag over the top of them and vacuum that down and then lay the carbon over the top of that and then vacuum that down again and then I'll be able to release the part because again you know these are um, temporary probably not going to have the same shape for production so it's kind of pointless creating a fancy mold when we can just do um, you know, foam uh, blank there just for a one-off. So uh, that's basically what the tool paths are going to look like. And again, this is the the rear one. Um, so that's with the flanges added there. And uh, then uh, this is what the tool path looks like. I'm just going to do it with the ball mill. So it'll take a little while, but and of course there's a left and a right one. But uh, those will be coming up in the next probably few weeks or something. No real rush on those. And I remembered I needed to create the hard points for the door um, gas cylinders for the, the gas struts um, before painting the door. So here I've um, cut these out there, the hard points and the brackets. And uh, here's Dan working on a little um, pass through there for the AC and the heater lines in the back bulkhead. And uh, there's my hard point there. It's just a quarter inch aluminum. That's basically where that's going to live. So I have to take off the primer there and you know just bring it back to raw carbon and then uh, bond that into place and put a layup over the top of it and here Dan's been working on uh, more stuff with the engine so this is the uh, the breather line for the fuel tanks so that comes basically from the fuel tanks there and runs into that um, container and uh, here I'm see I'm tapping um, the brackets now so it's a little tr tricky to do it with one hand here, yeah, but decided to create the brackets at the same time as uh, creating the hard points just because you know you're already working with the aluminum, may as well do both. And the gas struts that we're going to be using this time around are 150 pounds, I believe. We only need about 130 is what I measured, but anyway, I've got some 150s there, we'll see how they go. So that's what that looks like, and that uh, threads into where I just tapped it there, and I'll be putting a locking washer on there to hold that in place. And so this is what it looks like after I did my layup there on. Um, Monday afternoon and it needs to be obviously sanded and cleaned off and that's what it looks like with uh, one of the brackets just sort of roughed in place there as you can see so I you know drilled and tapped those hard points uh, before bonding them into place and meanwhile Devon's getting closer to uh, finishing all the sanding there for all these different wing skin surfaces so they can all be bonded together as you see he's sanded out where the ribs are going to be and also where the spars are going to be on that upper skin and you may remember this CAD file there that has all the various different systems and avionics and stuff all incorporated into it. So I want to show you kind of uh, where Dan's been working. So these are the AC lines, there's the heater ones, and then the AC ones there. And so he's got those installed now, and you'll see that in a minute. And uh, now he's going to be moving on to installing uh, the battery and the battery cables and the, the um, main uh, isolator there. That's that one there that uh, you know activates power for the whole ship so um, and then back in the on the aft end he's already got you know these things like um, the fuel pump there and the fuel filter and then the secondary pump um, for the heating the fuel tanks those are all installed and all the lines and stuff and then the heat exchanger there is installed and the lines for that is all done um, and then uh, what's it down there that's the um, the dryer for the AC system that's installed there uh, now as well and obviously the, the uh, condenser there for the AC so he's got all this stuff installed now so nearly nearly everything you're looking at has already been installed there and there's all the um, lines coming through um, the rear bulkhead there uh, so those are all the AC ones there and then you've got the battery cables there and the other ones are the fuel ones so uh, here he is now just starting out on uh, getting the, um, the pass-throughs there for the sort of um, battery positive and battery negative terminals just drilling the holes um, for those so we can get those mounted and as you can see there's the AC lines in there and I'll, I'll show you those again in a second um, 
and then over on this side you can see there's the battery mount in place again so you had to redraw those holes through and uh, get that sorted out and here's Devon on to the next one and uh, all he has left after that one is uh, to do the uh, lower skins there for the main wings and then he's basically done every every flying surface there that hasn't been already bonded together so it's a lot of work a lot of sanding and I uh, feel sorry for him a little bit but someone has to do all that and talking about sanding so yeah I didn't want to show you any of the doors uh, this time because I punished you last time but anyway that's what I'm still working on so here I'm just doing the final um, prep before priming um, for these door frames just with some 120 sandpaper there just uh, scuffing up a bit because it's ma they're mainly primed already but you know where all the layups have been done needs to have some more rework and here I can show you uh, more of the detail of Dan's uh, handiwork so some of these uh, hoses and stuff still need to be sort of uh, hard mounted with some ADL clamps and uh, we'll be getting those shortly and he's taken um, some of the lines off there or some of the pipes off there um, and I'll show you those in a minute uh, but you look carefully down in there you can see the dryers mounted there on the wall they're a little bit difficult to see in the center of the picture there um, so yeah most of the stuff with respect to the AC and and the fuel lines and stuff is all done in the back now so that's good and uh, here you in the front again now so there's the um, those um, pass-throughs there uh, for the battery positive and negative so he's got those uh, mounted in there now and there's the lines there that I wanted to show you there for the heater and the AC and there you can see those battery pass-throughs there so everything's sort of coming together there uh, nicely and uh, and it won't be long we'll be moving on to the interior and starting to put the dash panel back in and all the instrumentation there and by the end of the day today I had both doors masked up and uh, ready for priming so that'll happen in the morning and then I'll be filling uh, any spots that need some fill and then uh, probably another round of primer and then we'll be uh, on to um, getting ready to paint those frames and Dan's taken a couple of these intake tubes off um, because we've decided to switch up um, the outlets there for the pressurization to um, quarter inch NPT. So you see where the tape is there, he's taped the bungs in there that we got and uh, those are ready for Brit to uh, weld in place. And a couple of other brackets there, the ones that hold the AC condenser are also ready uh, for welding now. And back underneath, uh, I wanted to show you there, there's that uh, panel that he was working on with the grommets there. So he's got the AC and the heater lines coming through there. And then next to that, the fuel lines. And then the battery cables over there on the far side. And lastly, uh, up front there, he not only got those um, battery uh, pastries done, but he's also mounted that isolator there. So um, most of the stuff there in the nose that needs to be done has now been done. So next step, probably... Um, getting ready to move on to the interior and start uh, getting things sorted out uh, where the dash is. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. And uh, thanks again for watching and uh, tune in again on Saturday and see what we get up to.